Good morning. How was your morning routine today? Good morning. My morning was pretty typical. I woke up, brushed my teeth, and took a quick shower. Sounds like a good start. Did you have breakfast? Yes. I had cereal with milk and a banana. It's my usual breakfast. That sounds healthy. I had toast and coffee. After breakfast, what did you do? I checked my emails for work and made a to do list for the day. Then, I got dressed for work. I see. I did some yoga and stretched a bit to wake up my body. After that, I dressed and got ready for the day. Yoga sounds like a great way to start the day. So, did you go to work today? Yes, I did. I commuted by bus. It was a bit crowded, but I had my earphones with me, so I listened to music. Commuting can be tiring sometimes. I drove to work, and the traffic was surprisingly light today. That's lucky. When you got to work, what did you do? I started my workday by checking my schedule and attending a few meetings. Then, I tackled some tasks on my to do list. Meetings can be a bit overwhelming, but they're necessary. At work, I had a presentation to prepare, so I spent most of my morning on that. Preparing presentations can be time consuming. Did you take a lunch break? Yes, I did. I had a sandwich and some salad at the cafeteria. It was nice to take a break and chat with co workers. I usually bring my lunch to work. Today, I had leftover pasta from last night. Leftovers can be delicious. After lunch, what did you do at work? I had some more meetings in the afternoon and worked on a report. It was a busy day. I understand. I finished my presentation in the afternoon and practiced it a few times. Practicing is essential for a successful presentation. What did you do after work? I headed straight home. I like to unwind by reading a book or watching a bit of TV. Relaxing with a book or TV is a great way to de stress. I usually go to the gym after work to stay active. That's a healthy habit. I should exercise more. Did you have any evening plans? Not really. I cooked dinner, which was grilled chicken with vegetables, and then I spent some time catching up with a friend on the phone. Grilled chicken sounds tasty. I had some homemade spaghetti for dinner. After that, I did some household chores. Household chores can be a bit tedious, but they need to be done. How do you usually unwind in the evening? I like to take a warm bath and read a book before going to bed. It helps me relax. That sounds like a soothing way to end the day. I usually watch a bit of TV or listen to calming music before bedtime. It's been nice talking about our daily routines. I find comfort in having a routine. Same here. Routines can make life more manageable. Well, it's getting late. Time for bed. Indeed, it is. Good night. Have a restful sleep. Hi, there. Have you been on any exciting trips lately? Hey, yes. I actually just got back from a fantastic adventure in Thailand. It was incredible. Thailand sounds amazing. What did you do there? Well, I started in Bangkok, explored the bustling city, and visited some beautiful temples like Wat Pho and the Grand Palace. That sounds incredible. Did you try any street food? Oh, definitely. Thai street food is the best. I had pad thai, som tum, and mango sticky rice at a local market. So delicious. Yum. Did you venture outside of Bangkok? Yes, I did. I went up north to Chiang Mai. It's a charming city with lots of cultural experiences. I even did a Thai cooking class. Cooking classes are such a fun way to learn about a culture. Did you do any outdoor activities? Absolutely. I went jungle trekking and even got to bathe and feed elephants at an ethical sanctuary. It was a once in a lifetime experience. Wow, that's incredible. Did you also visit any beaches? Yes, I spent a few days on the islands in the south. The beaches in k o h Phi Phi were stunning, and I went snorkeling in crystal clear waters. Sounds like a tropical paradise. 
Did you face any challenges during your trip? Well, the language barrier was a bit tricky at times, but people were so friendly and willing to help. I managed just fine. It's always heartwarming when locals are welcoming. Any travel tips for those planning to visit Thailand? Sure. Respect local customs, try the street food, and explore beyond the tourist areas. Also, don't forget to bargain at the markets. Great advice. Traveling can be so enriching. Where do you plan to go next? I'm thinking of exploring Europe next, maybe Italy or Spain. There's so much history and culture to discover there. Europe is incredible. I'd recommend Rome for its history and Barcelona for its vibrant culture. Have you been to Europe before? No, it'll be my first time. I'm super excited to explore it. How about you? Any travel plans? Not at the moment, but hearing about your adventures makes me want to plan a trip soon. Traveling is always a good idea. It broadens your horizons and creates lifelong memories. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing your travel stories. It's been inspiring. You're welcome. Anytime you want to talk travel, I'm here. Safe travels on your next adventure. Hi, there. Do you enjoy reading? What are some of your favorite books? Hello, yes, I love reading. One of my all-time favorites is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. The themes in that book are so powerful. To Kill a Mockingbird is a classic. I love how it addresses important social issues. Have you read anything else by Harper Lee? Yes, I also read Go Set a Watchman. It was interesting to see how the characters had evolved over the years. That's intriguing. I haven't read that one yet. What about other authors you enjoy? I'm a big fan of J.K. Rowling. The Harry Potter series is fantastic. The way she created that magical world is just brilliant. Ah, uh, Harry Potter is a beloved series for many. Do you have a favorite book from the series? It's hard to choose, but I think Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is my favorite. I love the mysteries in that one. Excellent choice. The Harry Potter books have a special place in my heart too. Besides Rowling, do you have any other favorite authors? Absolutely. I enjoy reading Agatha Christie's mysteries. Murder on the Orient Express is one of her best, in my opinion. Agatha Christie's mysteries are classic whodunits. They keep you guessing until the end. Have you read any contemporary authors you'd recommend? Yes. I recently read The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. It's a beautifully written fantasy novel with a unique setting. The Night Circus is often praised for its enchanting prose. I'll have to add that to my reading list. Do you have a preferred genre of books? I'm quite eclectic, but I do enjoy historical fiction. It's like time traveling through books. How about you? I love a good historical novel too. Lately, I've been into science fiction, exploring futuristic worlds and technology. Science fiction can be mind-bending. Any particular science fiction book or author you'd recommend? Definitely. I'd recommend Dune by Frank Herbert. It's a classic in the genre, with intricate world-building and politics. Dune has been on my list for a while. I'll make sure to read it soon. Thanks for the recommendation. You're welcome. It's been great discussing books with you. They say books are a window to other worlds. And it's nice to explore them through conversations, too. I agree. Books can take you on incredible journeys, and talking about them is just as enjoyable. Let's continue our literary adventures in the future. Absolutely. Happy reading, and take care. You, too. Enjoy your next book. Hey, there. What are some of your favorite hobbies and interests? Hi. I have a few hobbies I really enjoy. One of my favorites is painting. I find it so therapeutic and relaxing. Painting is a wonderful way to express creativity. Do you have a preferred style or subject matter? I mostly paint landscapes and nature scenes. I love capturing the beauty of the outdoors on canvas. That sounds lovely. Nature can be a great source of inspiration. 
Besides painting, do you have any other hobbies? Yes, I'm an avid hiker. Exploring new trails and experiencing the tranquility of the wilderness is something I can't get enough of. Hiking is a fantastic way to connect with nature. Have you hiked in any particularly breathtaking places? Oh, definitely. I recently hiked in the Swiss Alps, and the views were absolutely breathtaking. It felt like I was in a postcard. Switzerland is known for its stunning landscapes. I bet that was an unforgettable experience. Are there any hobbies you've been wanting to try? I've always wanted to try my hand at pottery. The idea of shaping clay into beautiful objects fascinates me. Pottery is a unique and creative hobby. You should definitely give it a try. On a different note, I enjoy cooking as a hobby. Cooking is wonderful. Do you have a signature dish or cuisine you enjoy preparing the most? I love experimenting with different cuisines, but I'm particularly fond of Italian dishes. Homemade pasta is a favorite. Homemade pasta sounds delicious. Italian cuisine has such a rich variety of flavors. Have you tried making your own pasta from scratch? Yes, I have. It's a bit time consuming, but the taste is worth it. Do you have any specific goals or projects related to your hobbies? I'm planning to create a series of paintings inspired by my hiking adventures. Each painting will capture a different trail I've explored. That's a fantastic project. Your art will tell the story of your outdoor adventures. Are there any hiking destinations on your bucket list? I'd love to hike the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu in Peru someday. The history and scenery there are incredible. Machu Picchu is on my list too. It's a dream for many travelers and hikers. Well, it's been great learning about your hobbies and interests. Likewise, hobbies add so much richness to life, don't they? Absolutely. They keep us engaged and passionate about the things we love. Let's keep exploring our interests and sharing our experiences. Agreed. Here's to more painting, hiking, and culinary adventures in the future. Cheers to that. Take care and enjoy your next hike and painting session. You too. Happy cooking and have a great day. Hi. Are you a tech enthusiast? I love gadgets and new technology. Hello. Yes. I'm definitely into tech. It's fascinating how fast technology is evolving these days. It is. Is there a particular tech gadget or device that you can't live without? My smartphone, for sure. It's not just a phone. It's like a mini computer in my pocket. I use it for everything. Smartphones are incredibly versatile. What do you use your phone for the most? Communication, of course, but also for staying organized with apps like calendars and to-do lists. And I love taking photos. Photography with smartphones has come a long way. Do you have any favorite apps for photo editing? Yes, I use a few photo editing apps. They help enhance the pictures I take, making them look even better. That's cool. I'm a fan of fitness trackers and smartwatches. They help me stay active and monitor my health. Smartwatches are great for that. Do you have a specific brand or model you prefer? I currently use a Fitbit. It tracks my steps, heart rate, and sleep patterns. It's been a game changer for my health goals. Fitbit is known for its fitness tracking features. It's nice to see technology promoting a healthy lifestyle. Are there any upcoming tech trends you're excited about? I'm really excited about the advancements in virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR. The possibilities for gaming and education are incredible. VR and AR are indeed promising technologies. They have the potential to change various industries. Speaking of gaming, do you play video games? I do. I'm a casual gamer. I enjoy both console and mobile games. How about you? I used to play video games a lot, but lately, I've been more into smart home technology. I've automated several aspects of my home. Smart homes are becoming increasingly popular. What kind of automation have you set up? I have smart lights, a thermostat, and even a voice-activated assistant that controls various devices. 
It's convenient and energy efficient. That sounds impressive. Smart home technology can make life more convenient. Is there a tech gadget on your wish list? I'd love to get my hands on a drone. Aerial photography and exploration seem like incredible experiences. Drones can capture some breathtaking shots. It's a great choice if you enjoy photography. Well, it's been fantastic chatting about tech and gadgets with you. Likewise, the world of technology is always evolving, and it's exciting to stay updated and share our interests. Absolutely. Let's continue to explore the tech world together. Have a great day, and may your gadgets always be charged. You too. Enjoy your tech adventures.